it's done. Timer off. Hopefully they turned out okay. Let's see. I guess we'll check this one. Oh, perfect cook on that. That looks good. Oh no, completely burnt. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to show you a whole bunch of new arrivals. Some fire stuff, some ice stuff, some earth stuff. It sounds like I'm about to show you my Pokemon collection, which I don't actually have. It's actually 16 brand new pairs of boots. One of them is a double. You guys will see that in just a second, but I just want to give you guys a sneak peek of the reviews that you're going to be seeing on the channel over basically the next week or two. And of course, leave your feedback, leave your suggestions. Let me know which of these you'd like to see reviewed first. Anyways, so we'll start here and I think I organized it fire, ice, earth, and then Beckham, but We'll do it like this. So this is the Fire Pack Superfly, which looks quite good. Although I will say that they're much more orange than red, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because I really like the look of red shoes. But these are, as you can see, very orange and the stripes are a lot more prominent than I was honestly expecting. And I'm thinking the best way to do these Fire and Ice Pack videos, guys, is to actually do the Fire and Ice Superfly in the same video rather than just one at a time. Just makes a little bit more sense. I know Fire and Ice is technically two separate packs, but they kind of did two packs at the same time. Now this one is the Tiempo X Finale Indoor, which a lot of you guys have been asking me to review. Um, I did not bring in the launch colorway, but I now have it in the Fire Pack colorway. So essentially what you're getting here is the Tiempo Legera 4 Upper, which is actually very good quality. Nice calfskin leather, you get the nylon cables there, kind of like Flywire, um, but not quite exactly the same thing. The suede around the edge of the toe, and then this really nice traction pattern with a Lunar Lawn midsole, believe it or not. So the underfoot cushioning you're getting here is very good. And for the price, it's a really, really solid value, so expect a review on those relatively soon. Those definitely seem like some pretty solid indoor models. Move that over. And then we got the Fire Pack Tiempo Legend 7, which looks awesome. And this is really the first Legend 7 colorways that we're getting that don't have black leather. So this has kangaroo leather still, but instead of black, it is a nice bright red. And you can kind of see the flying it a little bit better on this color. It looks really cool as it transitions from red to kind of like an orange to a black. I just think it looks quite cool. And then the sole plate has that little bit of a translucentness to it if that's the right word, where you get to see that design at the bottom. Really, really nice looking colorway. Looking forward to, uh, I guess, going into detail on that particular shoe along with the ice pack. Then I've got this. This is actually a brand new model. They didn't launch it with the new colorway um, or when the Tiempo first launched. This is the Tiempo, Pro Tiempo X Proximo 2 Indoor. So basically, this is the Legend 7 with an indoor bottom. So it's the same bottom as that Tiempo X Finale that I showed you, Lunar Lawn midsole, with the rubber outsole, but this features the upper straight up off of a Tiempo Legend 7, flying it, ACC included as well. The main difference here being the fact that it has this suede going all the way along the edge, uh, basically the four foot toe box, uh, even part of the midfoot I would say. I mean, it's really cleanly done. You can see it's kind of just stitched in flush with the leather, feels really nice on feet. And again, the quality is just very, very good. So look out for some details on this in an upcoming review. I think they look really nice as well. Move that over. Then we've got, here's the Hypervenom Phantom 3DF in the Fire Pack colorway, which looks quite good. It features a solid Nike skin covering, which is a little bit unusual, and obviously it does not have the two-tone look, which makes these look quite a bit different than previous colorways. The Fire branding there, or Fire detail on the back. Uh, the orange accents in the swoosh as well as the flywire. It's a good looking shoe overall, although I actually do prefer the ice pack in this particular colorway, which I wasn't necessarily expecting to, because I really like the look of those. And, and then finally, we've got the Vapor 11 here, which again, a lot more orange than red. I know on TV, I've seen a lot of pictures of Neymar wearing these. They look like they're red rather than orange, but in person, they're very, very orange. The laces, though, definitely look red. That's the solid red part of the shoe, but uh, more details on those to come. Moving on, we've got the ice pack here. So this is obviously the Vapor 11 in the ice pack. It's a very nice bright blue, and what's cool about the ice pack Mercurials is it has this kind of rainbow effect to the sole plate where it fades from like a dark to a lighter color. Really, really nice, very good looking shoe. Move that over to the side. 
Next we have the Tiempo Legend 7 in the ice pack, which is a very bright blue for the leather. Looks really good and then it transitions into that fly knit where there's a little bit of white kind of thrown in there which gives it this almost like frozen snow look which I think is pretty cool. And then the bottom is black. I would have liked to have seen a blue bottom but they did it this way for whatever reason. Move that over. Then we got the uh, Mercurial Superfly 5 in the ice pack. Again, you get the blue, really, really nice color, the white accents with the Nike swoosh and the Nike branding. A uh, little detail there on the back. And then again, the sole plate. Very, very cool finish on this particular sole plate. Move that over. And then finally, what do we got here? This is the Phantom 3 in the ice pack colorway. A nice dark blue as a base. And then the bright blue accents with the white swoosh actually looks really, really clean in person. Uh, I, these look much better than I was honestly expecting them to look. So that is it for fire and ice pack. And I actually do have more on the way, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. There's so much new stuff right now. I don't even know what's coming. Then we have some earth pack stuff from Adidas. So. This is the Earth Pack Nemesis 17.1, which I thought this pack in general was just very, very unique. I'm not sure if we're gonna see any pros wearing it, but uh, it's very modern. This is like kind of earth tones, basically. I'm not even sure what you would call this, almost like a, a really light brown. What does it say on the box? Technically, it says something brown, sesame, and then something white, sea white. Uh, really, really interesting. So it's like kind of a cream color and a really light brown, beige almost. Really, really cool actually, I like the sole plate. It's a nice looking shoe, so we're gonna do a review on that of course. And then I've got the $300 models with these annoying drawer style boxes, so give me a second. We'll do that, open that up. Here is the Pure Control, which is probably the, more unique, the most unique one of the pack in that this particular color really shows off all the different materials and all the stitching on this particular shoe. Like look at the amount of stitching in this area of the upper, really unusual. This is like kind of an olive green color, but the translucent top layer, this polyurethane material, almost gives it this kind of bluish tinge, if that makes any sense. Really, really unusual. And then you have this kind of dirt brown color for the base of the sole plate. That is a wearable finish, of course. Really unusual looking shoe, but I will be doing a review on those. Then we've got the Pure Speed, which, there we go. Uh, here's the Pure Speed. Uh, really interesting as well. Again, it's kind of got this light brown, almost olive green mixture. It's kind of the in-between of uh, this particular pack as far as color is concerned. Uh, the olive green there and the Adidas logo. Again, very, very interesting. It stands out mainly because it's just an unusual color for a soccer cleat, not so much because it's actually bright, but I actually really like how that looks. And then finally, we have the Nemesis, which looks like this. Uh, very, very interesting. Again, kind of the same color as the 17.1. Although this one has the solid color to the sole plate that is a wearable finish. I think it looks better on the 17.1 with the translucent sole, but uh, nonetheless, very, very interesting shoe. And then finally, we have the Predator Accelerator David Beckham Edition. I actually ended up getting two pairs of these because I actually really want to wear them. Uh, this is a shoe that I'm personally very excited about and I will be making a video on them relatively soon. All white. Very interesting, it's not exactly what I wanted. I love the fact that they gave us kangaroo leather and the rubber elements from the original Predator Accelerator. You've got the big stripes. They're actually reflective material on this particular shoe, but I can't say that I'm too crazy about the fact that they did make it a mid-cut with this kind of prime knit collar. The prime knit obviously running through the tongue area, and then it's got these prime knit cutouts down the side, which are basically just vented sock material areas, which, I don't know. Wouldn't make the shoe particularly water resistant. Obviously these are gonna get dirty very quickly. And then they gave us the pure control bottom there with the boost foam on the base as well as the boost foam in the insole. Uh, sorry, it's not boost foam. I know people get mad when I call boost foam, but I call it foam because everybody else calls it foam, but never mind. Disregard all of that because none of that made any sense. Anyways guys, that is it for this update video. As always, let me know which of these products you'd like to see reviewed first. And generally what gets the most amount of requests is what I'll get to making right away. Tons and tons of new products and content on the way for this month. So stay tuned to the channel, hit that little bell notification button next to where it says subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already as well, but that bell notification will let you know as soon as I upload. And again, there are uploads on this channel every single day so keep checking back even if there's not a video in your sub box anyways though guys any questions as always leave them down below in the comments i'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as i possibly can if you enjoyed the video enjoy these updates want to continue seeing them happen whenever possible be sure to support this video with a like 
that would be awesome. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All my social media information linked in the description as well. Same thing goes for my Twitch channel. If you guys want to watch me live stream some FIFA 18, twitch.tv forward slash sr4u underscore Josh. That'll be linked in the description as well. I plan on streaming again very, very soon. So stay tuned to the channel for that as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one. And that's, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Bye. Check out this next level organization. I probably should clean this up right after finishing this video, but it'll end up staying like this until there's no more floor. You can see I'm basically standing in the only open floor space, but this will eventually fill up, I can guarantee it.